going on Beetle. my lap? Fabulous new show. And this is my banquette, and I'm very, very happy about it. This is a very beautiful set. Oh, he knows the name of it and everything. The impression I always had of you was, you know, just, just basically that you were a great singer and that you had a lot of drugs and a lot of sex in your life. True? Uh, this is true. Okay, yes. so there were drugs and sex in your life. And when you got into the Jefferson Airplane, Grace, of course, was the legendary Jefferson Airplane. There's a couple of old farts who watch the show have no idea who Grace is. He likes the word legendary. I can tell right out. Right no, but the, but the point is, is that you wrote White Rabbit. Yep. So when you, wrote, when you wrote that, you were just sitting around somewhere and you said, hey, I think I got a hit song in me? Is no. that how it works? You didn't think about hit songs at that time, because the hit songs of that time were like Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini, Frankie Avalon, Fabian. Right. So this is like, we didn't think we were ever going to get out of San Francisco, because one pill makes you large and one pill makes you small. With the stuff that was going on then, please, you don't think about that as being a hit song. And you were considered wild back then? You were drinking, you were doing drugs, and you were having lots of sex? Nobody I knew considered me wild, because we were all doing the same thing. All right, so you're writing songs, you join a band, you're very beautiful, and you're having lots of sex. <laughs> right? Were you having yeah. a lot of sex back then? Uh, pretty much, Two yeah. guys at the same time? I only did that once. No, that, and it wasn't even at the same time, it was the same day. Uh, see, I'm not that wild. Right. I've done that w two guys in the same day, but You never... had two guys in the same day, but never two guys at the same time. No. So you're it's too confusing. So you're a wild woman. One? You're a wild woman of rock and roll. Because yeah. that's my image of you. I always thought that you were just so, sort of like crazed on drugs. And you would do a lot of you would do a lot of this sex. This is true. This is my impression. This is true. But I mean, you were great talent. No. No, I think you're a great talent. Fairly and good. Uh, fairly good at uh, attitude, and the rest of it sort of you know you pack the rest of it around that. All right. Someone told me that you have no money left. I mean, you're almost out of money. Is that true? Oh, send money. You are almost out of money. No, I'm the one one of the people who doesn't have to work. I'm lucky. Oh, you you have enough money. You don't have to my work. My husband works for Prince. He just got a hundred million dollar contract. Should should I work? Oh, so you don't have to work. No. All right, when we come back, I want to find out about, so you, you write a hit song. I want to find out about drugs and sex, because you know me, I'm obsessed on that kind of stuff. Have you ever had drugs and sex? Yes, I've had drugs and sex. Yeah, but you've been married a long time. So I've been married a long time. I had some drugs. So I had some sex. you have had sex for a long time because you've been married. That's correct. We're going to go back to that, and then I want to meet your daughter. I want to meet your daughter's boyfriend. Okay. I want to find out all about your life and what's going on. We'll be back with the Howard interview right after this. What is it, the Howard Stern interview? We'll be back right after this. What do you think of the open there? What do you think of that? With my head swishing back and forth. I like my, it. Do you like picture. it? He's very clean. Um, there are no red lights on the camera. There's a red light. Is that the camera you look at? Okay, fine. He's very clean. What do you mean clean? I don't know. You just seem clean. Clean? Yeah, clean. I look at the open of the show and uh, I think I look a little gay in some of the uh, shots. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. That's what I meant. Clean. I'll be honest with you. Is it's that clean. it? It's Maybe a clean that's gay it, look. Yeah. My agent, Don Buckwell, the super agent, said that I looked a little gay. Here, take a look at this. That shot I can live with. When I start swishing my hair back and Let's forth, though, look, look, look this one. I think it's like a high fashion shoot. Ooh, oh, look. It is. Hello. Oh, it is. What is that? It's like a high fashion shoot or it something. It is. I, like I don't it. know. I don't know what's going on with me. It's a new segment of your life. But you like that? Yeah, I liked it. I think women are attractive. I think I actually look attractive in that. that yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm a very. Are you attracted to me? Be honest. Yes, you look better in person than you actually you did in the New York lighting of your other show. That was brutal lighting. You well, that was that show. was like a French fry light. This this channel actually has some nice <laughs> lights and things. The problem with this channel is nobody picks it up. That's the problem <laughs> I have. I, I happen never... to I happen to look nice on this channel, just that nobody can see me. I never even heard of this channel. Somebody called up and said, "You want to do E?" And I said, "What do you mean E?" Yeah, what's that? E? What? E? 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 I said E. My and father I... said the same thing. I've told him I had a TV deal. I go with E. With E, and he's going who? And my, I told my daughter, she said, oh, cool. I said, cool what? Cool what is right. Well, She's the only person in the world that gets E. Well, I did it for the money. I'll be honest with you. I think this is great, and I think How this is very easy. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting good money for this. A lot, a lot more than I ever...